is hot. It's been hot for a long time. I'm publishing this in the month of August. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's my daughter right there. You know that you're not supposed to be killing or attempting to kill weeds in the lawn in the middle of the summer. But I guarantee you, if you're anything like me, that you got a lot of weeds randomly all over the place and you're outside with your kids playing in the yard and you're seeing these weeds and you're constantly thinking, ah, maybe I could try to kill them. Why can't we? Everyone knows, yeah, there you go. Everyone knows that you're not supposed to kill weeds or attempt to kill weeds in super hot weather. When it's hot in the middle of the summer, everyone knows. Yeah, okay. When it's hot in the middle of the summer, all of the professionals tell you to wait until temperatures cool down, which usually means like waiting till September or waiting to the start of fall. I want to show you exactly why we don't kill weeds in the middle of the summer when it's super duper hot. Look cute. Try to look cute. Can you look cute? <laughs> look at this. From far away, everything looks really good. Really nice. It's July 29th right now. We're working on like 10 days in a row around 100 degrees. But look. Weed. 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 Weeds. Weeds. There's a boy right there. Where's the weeds? Where's the weeds, man? Right there? Yeah, there's more and weeds right there. There's a, weed there's right a there. big one right there. And there's one right there. To demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about here, I'm going to single out one single weed. I'm not going to try to kill all of the weeds in my lawn uh, because it's crazy hot and it's destructive to the lawn. And I want to show you why. Here, I'm going to show you the weed. There's my garden. It's my wife's garden. Let's get real. It's the wife's garden. Say hi. Swing set. There's a weed right there. Right there. This is the weed that I'm going to attempt to kill with a weed killer spray in the middle of the summer. It's, it, it's like 100 degrees right now. Let me go show you the thermometer. There we are. Oh, sorry, it's not 100 degrees, 98, 98 degrees. It's hot, no matter what, it's hot. And I'm gonna spray this thing down and I'm gonna show you what happens. I'm gonna give you a day by day, every single day, I'm gonna take a picture of this and just string them together starting right, well, starting here very soon in the video. For this experiment, I'm gonna be using a totally over-the-counter product that you can find probably at any store in your town. Probably. This is the hose end sprayer from Ortho. It's the weed, cle weed clear is weed killer for lawn. So this is not going to kill the, this stuff is not supposed to kill the grass. It's only supposed to kill the weeds, but you're not supposed to spray it on the weeds when temperatures outside are over 90 degrees. I try to educate as much as I can on this channel. This product uses 2,4-D Micoprop P and it uses dicamba. So various concentrations, no matter what product you use, it could be anything else. If it's using these same active ingredients, it's gonna be very similar to this. This is a hose end sprayer. So I basically take my hose, stick it on here, and it's going to slowly suck uh, uh, weed killer fluid up and mix it in with the water from the hose as it sprays onto the weed. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna spray it on and then I'm gonna take pictures of it every single day until I think that it's not worth taking pictures of it anymore. How bad's it gonna look? Will the weed die? Let's find out. It's July 30th. I just sprayed that weed. That weed. That weed. 
And I sprayed that weed. Four of them. Let's see what happens. days after application this weed looks like it's doing the worst we've got some yellowing some kind of crispy edges a little bit there's still a lot of leaves that seem to be doing okay this weed might die but I'd bet on it struggling for a while and then continuing to start grow uh, continuing to grow again Here's this one, 12 days applica after application. We've got minimal leaf damage. Doesn't seem to be growing. There's no flowers coming up, but it certainly hasn't died. Here's this weed. This is the main one that I wanted to attack. And there is barely any damage at all. Little leaf tip damage here. That actually might be the lawnmower, though. Not much damage going on here after 12 days. Fourth one over here. This one looked like it was struggling the most, but we started flowering. We got some purpling leaves, but nothing looks like it's actually dying. I mean, here we got some purpling, and I could find some other dandelion flowers around here with some of this purpling leaf tissue. I don't really think the herbicide is to blame. I think it's the heat, heat stress from the, uh, from the paver here. I don't think any of these are dying. Maybe the first one. Why don't we spray weeds in high heat in the middle of summer? Because it's literally a waste of product. If your lawn is stressed and you put down a heavy dose of something very potent, it might actually damage the lawn itself. The weed killing herbicides are formulated to work on actively growing weeds that are not stressed out by heat and are able to uptake the herbicides through the leaf tissues efficiently. When the temperatures climb to 90 and above, this just isn't possible. And like I said, in some cases, if you put down strong herbicides and your grass is already under stress of high heat or drought, you might actually damage the grass more than the weed itself. It is far better to wait to the end of the summer season when temperatures start pulling back off of their uh, summertime highs, let's call it into the 80s and lower, and then start attacking the weeds. This usually is a signal for the early stages of fall. So if you can wait for that, please do. And make sure to watch my entire fall lawn care guide, which is up here. It includes pre-emergent strategies and weed killing strategies for this time of year, as well as seeding, overseeding, and other tips for fall fertilization.